Hi friends, Fernando here. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I actually, um, uh, you, as you know, I like to fly drones and uh, this is my uh, Phantom 4 Pro. I love this device. It can give you some wonderful footage. And in Australia, flying drones is becoming a lot more, more popular. But the other day, I had someone come up to me and said, Hey, you're not supposed to fly that here. And, um, and really it got me to thinking about, you know, what are the, the safety uh, regulations and the, and, the, and the rules and laws uh, that you have to have to, have to take into consideration when flying a drone, specifically in Australia. Um, so the, the governing body for um, this particular device is CASA, which is the Civil Aviation uh, Safety Authority. And uh, they are also the same people that actually, you know, manage the rules and regulations with flying aircraft, etc. And so they have uh, rules, right? And the rules primarily uh, depend on the type of drone that you fly. Now, there's a under two kilograms and over two kilograms. Now, these particular drones, the ones that you get, uh, you know, like uh, as a consumer, prosumer type of devices, they're under two kilos. So they would go on the more, uh, not as a professional uh, type of uh, drone uh, usage. And so um, the rules are pretty much, um, you know, set for, for us. So um, what are those rules? So the rules are, are, are pretty much uh, designed to keep the safety of the public in mind. Uh, and also, uh, you know, obviously other aircraft. And so it is very important that you take into consideration uh, these rules when you are flying your drone somewhere within Australia. So first of all, uh, there is no night flying. You cannot fly your drone at night. Uh, I know that um, obviously these things uh, can, can fly in, in, in any condition, but no night flying. Um, at the same time, you cannot fly through cloud or fog. Um, the reason for that being is that the rule says that you cannot fly the drone outside your line of sight. So you should be able to keep an eye on this drone anywhere uh, while it's up in the air. And so that's why night, fog and cloud flying is usually is not accepted. Um, so you, you need to keep an eye on it all the time, of course. Um, and the other more uh, important rule is that you're not allowed to fly the drone within 30 meters of other people. Um, so when you're taking off or landing, make sure you're doing it as far away as possible from people. So 30 meters is the rule. So if you are taking off somewhere where you know that people are going to come and, and see you and start asking you questions about the drone, try not to do that because obviously that is not the right way to approach it. So try to take off somewhere uh, where you are isolated, where people are not going to come up to you and ask you questions. And that happens to me all the time. I mean, when I take the drone takes off, when people are walking past, and they see you holding the remote, the first thing that they want to know is like, hey, what are you doing? How does it work? Um, but in reality, you're not supposed to have anyone else around where you're doing it. Um, so stay away from people. Um, the other thing is, is you're supposed to stay away from populous areas because one of the risks is that this thing can fall off fall out of the sky, right? And what you do not want is two kilos worth of drone falling on top of somebody and, and obviously cause them some you know, grievous bodily harm. You're gonna make sure that that is actually uh, not gonna happen. So sh you shouldn't fly it over places where there, there is people, like you know, touristy places, houses, people's backyards, building, cities. And so pretty much, uh, you know, you should gotta to try to stay away from sort of places where people are gonna be at. Um, the other thing is too is that, you know, you really should stay away from, um, you know, metropolitan areas. So um, I am going to put a link to an application called uh, Where Can I Fly? It is an application that's actually developed by CASA uh, and actually gives you a really good uh, visual of uh, the restricted airspaces. So what are those restricted airspaces? So first of all, you cannot fly um, higher than 120 meters. 
So your drone cannot fly into areas where other aircraft may be flying. So um, this particular drone has the ability to actually manage its height. So if you set it to 120 meters, it will not fly up above that. Now the reason you don't want to fly above 120 meters is because there's other aircraft in the air, whether it's helicopters or other planes, that actually are flying through those same areas and you could potentially cause some problems. Now, um, the other thing is too, is that you gotta watch where you're flying at, right? So we talked about aircraft flying past, and there are some areas within the city where aircrafts are gonna actually be more prevalent. And those areas are, are things like airports, of course, aerodromes, but you cannot forget places like uh, uh, hospitals where helicopters are coming in, a landing and obviously you know with you know very important mission obviously trying to save lives so um, the the rule is that you cannot fly within 5.5 kilometers of these places um, this these, this drone is pretty smart because it will actually will not fly around aerodromes um, or actual airports it will not take off but it's a gray area around hospitals so 5.5 kilometers is the rule so if you know there's a uh, there's an airport or, or a hospital nearby, try to stay away from those areas because you know obviously you're going to uh, be breaching some of these rules. So there has already been people that have breached these rules. Uh, just recently in the media, there was a particular uh, drone pilot who actually got fined. Uh, I think it was something around ten thousand dollars for actually doing a fly fee. For those of you who don't know what a fly fee is, is where the drone is sort of hovering right next to you and then you get it to fly off while it's filming you and you get this beautiful sort of shot uh, of um, you know uh, the drone flying away as you get smaller and smaller and smaller so this particular party was a wedding and they thought that they'd get this cool shot of the wedding party sort of popping their champagne and doing all these cool things as the drone was flying away but once again that was 30 meters too close right that the drone was way too close to people they found out who this drone pilot was and he copped a big fine, so you gotta be careful. Um, obviously at the same time, if you wanna check the internet, you'll also see these drone fails where these drones have actually hit people. And um, yeah, so you, you really have to be careful. Um, keep safety in mind. Uh, flying drones is fun. The visuals you get from these devices are fantastic, but you have to keep the actual public um, safety in mind and uh, you have to fly responsibly. So hopefully these tips uh, will come in handy, especially in Australia, if you actually want to fly your drone. I do recommend that you know you, you sort of remember the rules when you're actually starting to fly your drones, but at the same time, have fun. These devices are fantastic. They give you such a beautiful vantage point that uh, no uh, photography can do from the ground. And uh, enjoy it. Have fun. If you like this video, press like and subscribe. Hit the little bell so I can notify you when I post something new. Over the next coming weeks, we'll be talking a lot more about drones and everything to do with uh, flying these devices around Australia. Hopefully, I'll see you again. Until then, bye for now.